good morning hey um welcome to another weekly vlog i had a couple of people asking me about revital ash so i thought i would quickly show you me putting it on um sorry not the revital lash serum the revital lash mascara and primer that i used to make my eyelashes look bomb uh so if you don't want to see eye stuff then maybe skip ahead so the one i've got comes in a double ended tube um which i quite like and of course it's probably is not gonna focus on yeah there we go um but i think you can still get it in single tubes but to be honest to me it just makes more sense to get it all in one so i've already done my skincare and put on um i use this Dermalogica um oh my god what is it called sunscreen um and i put that on every day and i'm not wearing any other like foundation or anything today so that makes this a really easy look now if you can see that it is blue oh my god this, i'm not made to be a beauty youtuber you can tell so it's blue and it coats my eyelashes with like a blue coat on oh my eyelashes so this is them without and what uh, oh, that's kind of an in progress let me put a bit more can you see a difference maybe i might have to zoom in a bit more actually this is a bit hard knocking over things in my cabinet Great times. Zoom in. On my face. Oh, no one wants to be that close up, but it does help you see the difference better. And it helps me see the difference better. So, I'm going to put that primer on the other eye so I'm not uneven. And when you're putting it on, I'm just looking in a mirror over here rather than the viewfinder. Because I don't really want to get that close to the camera. So you can kind of see the blue on there, which really helps when you're putting it on. And it kind of, I mean, I can tell where I've been because it makes my eyelashes longer. So, and then the black, um, my shade is called Raven. So this is before. I'm trying not to do that thing when you open your mouth when you're putting on mascara, but I'm not very good at look how good maybe I should have put on nothing on that eye so I could show you show you how amazingly giant they are once I have put on mascara but I don't have time for that today because I'm going out for breakfast with my friend Sarah Jane she's a designer over at Lost and Led Astray I'm pretty sure I have talked about her before if not vlogged her Giant eyelashes. Uh, let's zoom in a bit. I don't really feel that comfortable being that close to my face, but yeah, there you go. Easy to step. Oh no, that's zooming in. We don't want that. How do we fix this? That's much better. Zooming out, Megan. Yes. So that's all I'm gonna do for my face today. My under my hair because it's still in my braid from bed. Uh, put some clothes on because this is my pajama top. Um, yeah, put some lip balm on because my lips are feeling a bit dry. Maybe I'll find lipstick, but probably not because we're going for breakfast. So there's kind of no point. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. I kind of look like a little floating head with this my neck. I don't know how I feel about that. I do quite like the top though. I don't know if you can really see in this lighting, but the neck is shirred, which is kind of cute means that it doesn't sit too close to my throat, which is quite good. Where is a good place to put this? There. Um, so I decided to go with giant hair. I didn't really know what to do with it, so I just kind of shoved it up. 
uh, high neck top, wearing my feminist witch pin, which I bought from Punky Pins um, via Two Lippy Ladies. And I'm off to have breakfast with Sarah Jane, except I'm here very, very early because I thought I'd give myself a little bit more time because it's the first day back after school holidays um, and it's Monday and I know the traffic on Monday is bad and I know that school traffic is bad and I know that the first day back after school holidays is bad so I thought I'd give myself a bit of extra time because um, I'm kind of not going somewhere close to my house uh, but turns out I got here really early it took me 35 minutes and I thought it was going to take me uh, a lot longer than that. Um, so I'm just hanging out in the car, I'm enjoying the sunshine, it's such a nice day today. Um, so I'm going to go have breakfast, catch up, hang out, it's been a while since we saw each other so that'll be fun. Um, and then with the rest of my day I'm going to do boring admin things like go to physio and do my grocery shopping, aka my most hated thing. Um, I usually do all these things on Mondays, so I guess today is that day. Um, and back into work mode after school holidays. Um, I've really enjoyed having uh, at our home, so it's nice. Uh, but back, back to reality, back to work, back to not spending the afternoon hunting Pokemon, playing cards, and all those things. Right, breakfast time. Um, so we're at Katru huh? and I am having green eggs and ham with gluten free toast and a rosti and it is delicious. And Sarah Jane is having the same. <laughs> Quick change of outfit and I'm now at physio. Just had another session. My shoulder is feeling really good. Um, so hopefully I can go back to yoga tomorrow. Very excited. Um, and now to do grocery shopping. We're at the winter gardens again because I wanted to shoot this beautiful kimono. Um, and look, I found bananas. Bananas. That's a novelty. We don't often, or well, I don't often see bananas growing down here. I really like them here, but it's so warm. Ugh. This is the part. So there's two different um, greenhouses. There's one that mostly just has flowers and one that's kind of more tropical. And it has loads of super lush plants, heaps of bromeliads, which I have growing at home. They don't look nearly this good though. And a dug. And that tree is pretty cool. So this is the tree that I thought looked really cool and it's got a spotty um, trunk and then I came to look and see what it was and look it's a titan arum which is I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that is the one that has the giant stinky flower um, which Doug and I came to see um, the corpse flower um, Doug and I came to see that a few years ago when it fell out here um, but I've never seen it as a tree, only as a giant flower that smells like garbage. Um, I mean it's super pretty, but it smells gross. Uh, yeah, so it looks cool in all its forms apparently. More giant picture plants in a corner. I really like carnivorous plants. And check these flowers out. I don't know what these are, but they're so cool. <laughs> I had great hopes when I saw this vine that it was gonna smell really good, but it smells like nothing. But it looks so pretty. Good afternoon, uh, I had a very quiet morning this morning because I had a migraine, um, but I've had a bunch of couriers arrive, um, I made an order 
which you can kind of see here, from Nourish and Thrive uh, over the weekend. And that has arrived. Nourish and Thrive is um, Sarah Evans and Laura Hare. They, uh, Laura, you might know her as the Shrinking Violet. Um, they have an online store, and I've been, I've ordered it from them a couple of times, um, and I just thought I'd do a little stock up. They have like really good whole foods, organic, like bulk stuff, which is really good. Uh, so I thought I'd show you what I got. I got some chocolate because I saw it and went, mmm, chocolate. I'm a very much an impulse purchaser, so that's kind of dangerous at the supermarket. Um, but this is a dark berry chocolate, which I'm very excited to try. Uh, I also picked up, because I'm really good at cooking, but really bad at baking. So I thought I'd get a couple of baking mixes. Um, I got a, a brownie bite mix, which I thought might be good, because I'm especially bad at making, like, biscuit kind of things. Um... Mostly because I'm not very patient and not very good at sticking to a recipe, so packet mixes are probably the best for me. Um, also, they've got a, a house-made um, like cake and muffin mix, so I thought I might, um, I thought I might make that up, probably in muffin form because I feel obliged to eat cake and until it's gone like you know have a slice of cake a day whereas with muffins um I'm quite happy to freeze muffins I don't know why like it's the same ingredients but anyway I might make those probably over the weekend I don't know how they'll freeze but um I like the idea of freezing it and then I can have a very small cake a day which would be delicious um also dried apricots they smell amazing. The apricots you can buy in the supermarket, I always think, are really gross. I have a preference for Otago apricots over Turkish, uh, just because I think they taste better. Um, but I wanted to stock up on some. I may even put some of those in the muffins. Like, maybe I'll make a chocolate apricot. Something like that. Um, and also just there for snacking on really because dried apricots are delicious and I stocked up on some of this good old Canadian maple syrup um I don't have a very good selection of proper maple syrup at the store where I do my grocery shopping so I thought I would stock up and I've purchased maple syrup from them before um, I use it quite a bit in things like cooking and also I made pancakes for breakfast this morning and I put them on my pancakes put it on my pancakes um, and I also use it in my pancake better so that was what I stocked up on um, hopefully those the baking mixes will help me to stop wanting to eat all of the biscuits in the world because then I go to the supermarket and I can't eat any of the biscuits because they're not gluten free. All the ones that are gluten free are really gross. So I'm really hoping that that will help me. We'll see. Um, it's a long weekend this weekend so that is the perfect time for doing some baking. So that's my plan. Uh, second thing I got, I've actually had four careers arrive today, which is madness. Um, but I won't show you all of them. I do want to show you this, though, because I'm really excited about it. Now, as you know, I wear glasses, which I'm currently not wearing at the moment. Um, all of my glasses I always get from Specsavers, my, like, glasses for working on the computer. Um... Mostly because that's where I go to get my eyes tested. I trust their glasses. I think they're really good quality. I think they have loads of choices available. Um, they make them to suit my prescription, obviously. Um, and also, they will coat them for me with uh, reflecty stuff so that I can work on the computer and that's really good for me. Um, 
it's really handy for me to have all that in one place. Anyway, uh, one of the brands that I really like within uh, Specsavers glasses options is Alex Perry. I've had Alex Perry glasses before. Um, I'm pretty sure Doug has Alex Perry glasses now. Um, and the collections are always really, really cool. And I think last season there was one that I really wanted but I unfortunately haven't needed to get new glasses so I haven't got them um, but they are leopard print with like a bright pink frames and they look so so cool um, but yeah anyway the, the new Alex Perry eyewear collection has um, been announced and I think it's in oh it is in store now so there's eight sets of just regular frames and uh, four prescription sunglass styles and I feel super lucky that they have they have sent me some um, they sent me some of the sunglasses I actually don't need to wear prescription sunglasses which is great but look at these they're so beautiful so this is very much my style I really love the shape of the frames there's a kind of smoky pink frame um, and if I turn that over you can see and you can see they've got a blue metallic um, these are so cute they're definitely my style of frame and they're definitely something I would pick out I don't normally wear prescription sunglasses because I don't need them um, I only need it for when I'm working at the computer or something like that but these frames are beautiful if you I just want to wear these all the time they're really oversized they feel massive on my face which I quite like so one of the main reasons I really like to wear giant glasses apart from the fact that I think they look cool on me um, is because to see how much of my face they're covering that means that, that much of my eye area is getting protected from the sun which I think is great the sun here is really harsh um, you know it helps prevent sun damage around here which I do wear sunscreen but you know as much sun protection as I can get I'm down for that the much the more I can get the better anyway uh, so the new collection is in store I'm going to be wearing these of the summer which I am very excited about this gets me very excited for the beach I like them I think they're cute what do you reckon if you do wear prescription glasses all the time but you've never had prescription sunglasses before I highly advise getting them um, so speak savers usually have a deal running where you can get uh, two for whatever two pairs for whatever price and um it, i think that if you do wear glasses all the time then getting a pair of uh prescription sunglasses is a really great idea i encouraged doug to get them um i think he got his not the most recent time he went but the time before and he didn't, I don't think he'd ever had them before and it was a bit of a revelation not to have to like be squinty in the sun which I'm really happy for him that he was able to get prescription sunglasses because as somebody who doesn't have to have prescription sunglasses that's something that I definitely take for granted because I really do need to wear sunglasses often because I'm quite sensitive to the light. Um, so yeah, prescription sunglasses are wonderful and I'm really looking forward to the next time I have to get glasses because I love Alex Perry. I just, oh, this frame shape is beautiful. I'm not sure what, um, I'm not entirely sure what this one is called though, but if anyone wants to know, I will put the, um, oh, maybe it's on here, but I actually need to put my glasses on to be able to see it. Um, 
I will make sure that I put the name and the little code of what these glasses are and link to them um, if they've got them online already. Um, I'll make sure I put them down in the description so that you can check them out. Um, they are, oh there we go, so you can get them for $2.99 or from $2.99 sorry for two pairs. That's a pretty good deal. That's what I've paid for all of my glasses so far. And as I said, I've always gotten my glasses from Specsavers. I know there are places who can do them cheaper, but I really like having that peace of mind that I'm going to get good quality aftercare. Um, I'm going to get a good fit. I'll be able to try them on. Uh, basically, I'm a big Specsavers fan. Um, also, I am a AA member. Like I have an AA membership that I pay for every year and as an AA member you can go and get a free eye exam which I think is great. Um, I think th having that and my membership was first given to me, my dad gave it to me, I think he won it at like a golf tournament or something. Um, such a dad thing right? And he gave that to me because he didn't need it and because I had that free eye exam, that's actually made me take better care of my eye health because every time it comes up for, I think you get one every two years. And I get a reminder from Specsavers when my uh, eye exam is due. And yeah, and that means that I've been getting regular eye exams as an adult, which I think is really important, especially for like preventative reasons, you know, that you want to be able to keep an eye on your eye health. So that's my little health message for today. Um, I am working tonight, but currently I am just sitting here playing PlayStation because, because I can't really concentrate on what I'm doing and drinking soda water. Um, so I'm sitting here playing PlayStation and then I may go have a nap and then I'm going to go start work. So that is, that's my exciting day. Hopefully you are up to much more interesting things than I am. Oh, also YouTube's down, so that's a pain. I put up my vlog today. <laughs> oh well, hopefully you've been able to watch it. If you have not, make sure you go check it out. So I've just been to get my nails done um, by Janelle at Plume. Look how cute these are. We did a stamp thing, which I haven't had done before, and this one's a bit different. It's a moth. Uh, sorry, Ellie, if you're watching this, I know you're not a fan. Uh, but yeah, together, I think they look so adorable. So cute. I wanted something quite similar to the black and white design wow that's not in focus there we go um i wanted something quite similar to the black and white design that i had that for uh fashion week which was stars and moons and um like i had a little purple cat's eye and that was really cute uh, but we decided to change things up a little bit today because well basically because janelle got new stamp things and i've never had stamp things before so we went with it and i'm glad we did because i think these are so cute have you ever had stamp things before? It's a really interesting process and I probably should have videoed it, but my battery is flashing, which is why I didn't. Um, but if I get them done again in the future, I would definitely remember to take a video because it looks really cool when she does it. Do you know what's an absolute scream? I was having another look at these Alex Perry glasses. Still very cute. And you know how I was like really amazed that these things were blue? It's actually like a protective plastic bit so that the uh, metallic part of your glasses doesn't get damaged. Fail, Megan! This shows how uh, not down with the kids I am, because I didn't even know that was a thing. So, let me pull those off and I will show you what they actually look like. So, there we go. Metallic. It's beautiful. I actually like this a lot more now. <laughs> oh, Megan. Oh, you fail. So yes, feeling very, very summer ready today, uh, as you can see by the reflection of my glasses, that is my skylight, uh, it is very sunny today. Um, 
and I'm also wearing a romper today. It's a bit cleavagey, but um, yeah, I'm very excited to go out and get some sunshine. I've already been out, and it's so nice having sun and fresh air on your legs. Oh my gosh, I cannot even like. I'm very excited. Very excited for summer. Can't wait for this long weekend. Also wearing my. Will that focus? My feminist witch pin. There we go. Pretty excited. Pretty excited for summer and Halloween and just everything. Today's a really good day. I feel like my mental health is feeling so much better. <laughs> Can you tell? Um, being sick and being injured and it being winter has been really bollocks for my mental health. So it's a long weekend this weekend, and I thought since it's long weekend, there's sales on, and I would come and take advantage of that and buy just stuff for our house, like we need a new rubbish bin. Um, but I came to Briscoe's, and apparently Renas had the same fucking idea, because it's jam-packed, and I had to queue for a car park. This is weird. I've turned into one of those old people. Not sure if you can see this, but that bird is totally drinking from that water fountain. How cute. So it turns out I completely underestimated how freaking horrific it would be at Briscoe's. Um, for those of you who are not from New Zealand, Briscoe's is like a homeware store. Um, and there's kind of a running joke about how you don't shop at Briscoe's unless it's on sale because they have so many sales and they're really good sales. Um, anyway, that's where I went because they had like 60% off a bunch of rubbish bins, but they didn't, turned out they didn't have the ones I wanted. And the store was packed, like, the queue for the checkout was, like, halfway around the store. It was absolute madness. So I decided to come to Cornwall Park, which is, like, my nice little relaxing place. Um, it's Pokemon Go Community Day today, so I am doing some Pokemon hunting. I've got some shiny Pokemon, so all in all successful. Uh, feeling quite anxious though so I don't know how long I'll stay here for um, but I thought it might be a good idea for me to like get out and be in nature and stuff but there's still quite a lot of people here because it's Pokemon Go Community Day it's Sunday and it's sunny um, and also all oh, this lighting what is going on um, Armageddon is on and Armageddon is being held across the road which is like Comic Con for people not in New Zealand um, so Everywhere seems to be quite busy because holiday weekend. Uh, so I might stay out for a little bit and then and then go home and chill out. I did have some videos that I wanted to film, but I'm just not really feeling in a filming headspace today. So I don't know if I will. I've got a few interesting ones coming. Um, I'm gonna do a haul. I did shot with swag designs for the first time. And I've also got, oh, my skincare routine, if anyone's interested in that, that's coming up. Um, and I don't know what else is coming. <laughs> There's a kid learning how to use the water fountain, it's pretty cute. Um, yeah, so those are two of the things that I've got coming, and I will have some more videos coming. I've got one about Simply Be coming as soon as well, so keep an eye out for that. Um, so yeah that's my plan for today um and not sure if i mentioned this but it's a long weekend here in new zealand um it is labor weekend um i actually have tomorrow off surprisingly um but doug does not so i probably won't do much <laughs> Pokemon around. I'm just waiting for um, this raid boss to drop so I can fight him. But I might catch some of these guys in the meantime. Mm -hmm. 